Hi guys, so we're going to be going over logical operators part 2. Our last video we dealt with logical oper the logical operator not, uh, shown by the exclamation point. Now we're going to go over AND. Now this is pretty simple, so we're going to type out C out, and in brackets we want to put two different questions. Now we're going to put one equals equals one and outside of this first brackets we need two and signs ampersands I think I called um but and then on the second one we need six is greater than zero. Now if we just run this it's gonna be true. So it's gonna be one. There we go, we've got one. Now if we were to run this thing, um, hang on. Firstly, I'll just add in a little end line so it's a little easier to handle. We'll copy this one out. We'll paste it four times. Now, before we do anything with it, we're going to change this one around to zero. We're going to leave. We're going to change this one to two. We're going to change this one to two and yeah. There we go. So now what we've got here is we've got. Well, I'll just run this first uh, just to show you what it actually does. Here we go. We've got one zero zero zero. Now this first one uh, condition uh, condition one is true and condition two is true. So that made it true. Uh, sorry about that. I made it true. Now over here condition 1 is true and condition 2 is false which means that it's false. And over here condition 1 is false and condition 2 is true so it's false again. And then the last one condition 1 is false and condition 2 is false, which means that it's false. Now, you might think that this is a bit complicated, but it isn't. As, with the end operator, we have if the first condition is true and the second one is true, then it'll be true. But if the first one is false and the second one is false, it'll be false. But as you can see, it also works that as long as one condition is false, the answer returns false. If both answers were true, it will always return true. But with the AND operator, you must remember that no matter what, if one answer is incorrect, they will all be incorrect. Oh, yes, if one condition, not answer, if one condition is incorrect, and as we can see in the first line, they're both correct, so it winds up being true. In the second one, the second condition is false, so the, the, the operator determines the overall result is false. And the third one, condition one is false, which means that again it is false. And finally, the fourth one, both conditions are false, which means that it's false. Now, that's it for this video. Um, next time we'll go on to the OR operator, which honestly I find much more interesting. And because we've got everything set out already, it'll be a much shorter one, I hope. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like and subscribe and just try to follow me. I'd really like some help.